Second Amendment sanctuaries are popping up all over Wisconsin. Thanks for joining us on Phil Alter. And I'm Allie Peters, but what exactly does that mean? News 9's Sarah McGrew is digging deeper into the issue. Ali Phil, just last night, Merrill City Council voted to become a Second Amendment sanctuary city, which means the city is opposed to any state legislation believed to infringe on the Second Amendment. But right now, residents aren't likely to see any changes. Let's take a closer look. And given us that right to protect ourselves, I, I believe this is a great ordinance moving forward. That was Tuesday night in Merrill. You would rather put fear into the community by adopting a resolution like this. As the city council debated on whether or not to become a Second Amendment sanctuary city. Ultimately, the resolution passed. So what does that mean? Well, a sanctuary city is generally a city that is protecting something. In this case, the Second Amendment. And this is a, a concern about more gun control. He says sanctuaries are likely a reaction to Governor Evers previously proposing stricter gun legislation, like red flag laws. That went to a special session of the legislature and they never took them up. The sanctuary proposals becoming a divisive issue. It, it is the protection that the cities are trying to employ that they are not going to be removing anybody's firearms and they're not gonna make their law enforcement officers uh, at risk, potentially, removing them from people. We are uh, opposed to them um, for a number of reasons, but I think the, the most significant is that we think this could be dangerous to the safety of our citizens. However, according to Professor Miller, these sanctuaries don't hold legal standing. All state laws trump any kind of county measures. But nonetheless, it sends a message to state legislators. And in our area, St. Germain also put a Second Amendment sanctuary proposal question on their April 7th ballot. And tonight over in Brown County, the Board of Supervisors also taking up the issue. Experts say similar proposals will likely continue popping up across the state. Live in the Control Center, Sarah McGrew, News 9 WAOW.